action. Oh my goodness. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Luca. I am here to talk about manifesting and manifesting your goals and your dreams for the new year. Right now it is December 21st. It's actually a really good day to manifest something about the stars being aligned. I'm just gonna take advantage of those vibes and hone them in for you guys and just send them your way. I think that 2020 has been quite the year for us. I think this is the first time in a long time that we have all gone through something together that has definitely not been the easiest, but I feel like this new year really brings in a completely different meaning than it has in past years. Just because this year has been so rough, I feel like 2021 is really like a fresh start and at least that's how I'm seeing it in my eyes. So if you guys would like to just leave behind any negative energy that has come up for you in 2020, feel free to just do that now, I really want this to be like an interactive video where you are actually going through and maybe journaling with me and like you feel like you're here with me. It's going to be really casual and not me trying to like spit a bunch of facts at, out at you and be real with you about manifesting. You need to get a couple of things if you want to join me. You're going to need a notebook, a pen, and maybe like a cup of tea or something that makes you feel really relaxed. I want to tell you that if 2020 has been a rough year for you, or if you feel like you may not have manifested your dreams or what you had intended for this year. I can personally relate to that, you know? I was thinking this year was going to be a crazy year for me, going to college for the first time, meeting a bunch of people, but that just wasn't the case. But I don't want you to take that as a bad thing because I think we can learn and grow from hard experiences much more than we can achieving everything we want all at once, if that makes sense. Like if there was nothing to strive for and to look forward to, I think life would have a lot less meaning. Let's get into our practice today. I'm like a yoga teacher, except for way less calm. I'm like way hyped to do this for you guys. Alrighty, my friends. So the first thing I usually do when starting my manifesting routine is I will take a notebook out. I think journaling in general is just so effective because it impresses your subconscious mind, the act of writing. You know, whenever you're learning a new language or something, the teachers will have you write it over and over and over again. Why? It's because you're learning, you're impressing your subconscious. Firstly, I want to write down everything that has gone right for me for 2020. As much as there has been a lot of shockers in 2020, I want to take a moment to write down everything that has gone really well. What this is doing is it's making you stay grateful in the present moment because you want to be manifesting from a point where it is not desperate energy. It is not, I am not happy with my life right now. Universe, give me this now because I need it because I'm so miserable. That's not where we want to manifest from. That's not the vibe vibrational set point we want to be at. We want to be in a positive mindset and what is the best way to flip the switch if you're feeling maybe not so positive that is to write down what you already have in your life because what if someone took it away and you might actually start to notice how much you appreciated those things. I would highly highly recommend that you do a meditation after this if you want to and just meditate on like being grateful also feel free to leave a comment down below something that you're grateful for right now just to spread positivity also if you are new please subscribe to my channel i post new videos every wednesday and sunday i would love to have you here so the next thing that i recommend you do is get on into goal setting. I feel like that's the most traditional, most known way to start out the new year. I know you guys have already heard of goal setting and honestly, I've never been that much into goal setting. I'm just gonna say it. it's not my strong point. I don't wanna write down like, oh, I wanna reach a certain number of subscribers because at the end of the day, like I can't control how many people subscribe to my channel. I can only control how much work I put into my videos. I encourage you to do the same thing. Write down goals that is something that you can control Control, don't make it something that is out of your hands so that may make goal setting a little bit easier for you to wrap your head around for example if you're you have a goal to um, get into your dream school don't put that down as your goal maybe that's something you want to manifest put down your goal as I want to do this thing every day that is going to help me manifest this like an action that you can do so that you can possibly bring that into your life I even encourage you guys to make these smaller things 
things because then I feel like it's a little bit more practical that you're actually going to implement them in everyday life instead of I want to lose weight maybe put I want to work out for an hour three times a week also I'm playing music in the background while I'm doing it if you want some high vibe music you can go follow my Spotify it's at Itsuka Whitaker yeah I'm not just sitting here in silence that would be extremely boring <laughs> I wrote my goals down. One thing that can hold us back sometimes is fear. Fear of changing, fear of actually becoming a new person. You may have heard the whole law of attraction act as if. I don't think that is a really great saying because it's almost implying that you are pretending to be someone who you're not. I like to think more of a be as if. Be as if you have already manifested what you want. Fears can hold us back sometimes. So I want you to take a moment to think about your fears in your life. What if I told you that your fears are holding you back from becoming the person you want to be? You may have a little fear inside of you that says, oh, I'm, I can't go to the gym. It embarrasses me, like lifting weights in front of people. Maybe it's a fear that you have unconsciously that's like hidden in your subconscious mind because someone told you a while ago that you were a shy person. Literally happened to me all the time when I was like in parent-teacher conferences. Teachers would tell me that I was shy and that I was quiet and then I just started to believe that and that's why I became a shy person. I needed to dig back in those subconscious beliefs and let them go and realize that just because someone told me that 10 years ago does not mean that it's true and why did I even agree with it in the first place? You know, I control who I am, not someone else. When you have realized something like, wow, I'm actually afraid of working hard because maybe if I work hard, then it means that I'm actually committing myself to something and maybe the fact that I won't achieve it might make me scared. Once that's out in the air, you'll feel so much more relief and like you are actually taking your power back. The next thing that we are going to do, if you want to, I've already done this, but it's to get a little calendar like this. You can find one online on Pinterest. I'm sure there's a free one out there somewhere. This one was from the dollar section in Target. I got this for like three bucks and this already has, oops, my videos might have been leaked there for a second, but something that I've struggled with with is actually planning out my freaking videos and I feel like I've just been such a person that's like on a whim like oh I'll post this this and then I was so stressed during college this is kind of personal Oops. Getting a calendar and planning out your year and any upcoming events. If you are going to work out, set what days you are going to work out. Like commit yourself to a schedule. Put it on paper. Do it now or later. Don't click off my video though. Please stay. I love you. Now we are going to do a chanting meditation with this crystal. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't worry guys. I'm not getting... I'm not getting that deep into it, but feel free if you would like. Rolling into the last part of the video, I'm going to give you guys some fun ways to manifest. I'm sick of all the same processes. I got you. All right, so I got some fun ways to manifest. First thing is music. You guys don't know this, but rappers are actually manifesting. A lot of them may not be mindful of what they're doing because, you know, saying you're going to be in jail and then some people actually get in jail after they rap that. You gotta use it smart, my rapper friends. But those those rappers who are rapping about being rich and about having, you know, the ladies swarm them or whatever they say. I'm more of an indie person, if you can't tell. Um, however, I think you can use music to your advantage just like the people who are writing the songs do, whether they're aware of it or not. So there are a bunch of high vibe music that you can listen to. You can either go one of two ways. You can go the route of maybe boosting your ego a little bit with some Lizzo. However, there's also frequency music that you can listen to that's like 555 hertz and they vibrate at certain frequencies. Music can actually be a way to raise your vibration. Even just listening to a song that really makes you feel powerful. For example, I found this song on Spotify. My friend actually sent it to me last year and it's called Money Is Coming To Me. And this is actually a song that is meant for law of attraction. You know, it's not really a song I would bop to in my free time. I'm gonna play it just a second of it, hoping I won't get copyrighted, and you guys will know what I mean. Uh, money is coming to me. Money keeps coming to me. 
Transforming into your higher self is really important. That version of yourself that already has everything you ever wanted in life, who is a boss. I want you to gather a picture of yourself. And I know you have one picture. Don't tell me you don't. There is one good picture of you out there where you are a queen. You're living your best life. I know you know the picture. I actually have my picture. This picture is a Polaroid that I took when I was in Maui. She has her life together. So whenever I look at this, I put it right near my computer and I channel those boss babe vibes. So that's a tip. Um, my second manifestation tool that is new, that is fresh, is affirmations. <laughs> okay, the, this one is kind of not new and fresh. However, I do affirmations on my Instagram story. My Instagram is at it's Luca Whitaker, and I do these almost every day, not really. I don't wanna annoy people, but I do these affirmations where you can vote yes or no. And the point is to repeat them and click yes. And this affirms to your mind that the affirmation is true for you. I know some people aren't a fan, and I get that. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to just never listen to me again. However, this is something that actually helps me, and I do believe in these because these have helped me with overcoming a lot of subconscious beliefs so I really do love these and I think you should try it just give it a try and just don't judge yourself so I'm out of breath Ooh, my mouth is so dry amazing the final tip that I have for you is to come up with a mantra for 2021 and this is something that you are going to repeat to yourself whenever you start feeling down whenever you start doubting yourself whenever times are getting a little rough you're just gonna repeat this and you're gonna believe it believe it's true and it can even be just one word and that one word for me is consciousness or awareness and I've been really into this word recently something in my mind clicks off and I automatically just become so aware of everything like I, I can't explain it to you it's kind of like a revelation I've had one cannot put it to words but it works for me so find that word that works for you and that's all I have to say but I hope you enjoyed it if you did Give it a thumbs up. It does something to the algorithm so that people who wouldn't normally see my video can see my video, as well as sharing my video with your friends or posting it on your Instagram story it would really help my channel to grow and I would appreciate it so much. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a whip, bitch. I don't do this for no clout. Hey, I got so much back, I think.